Good morning, everybody. Uh, Pastor Nate Borman here, one of the pastors at Mount Lebanon Lutheran Church, uh, here for a devotional thought. Um, we're walking our way through uh, the Gospel of Matthew right now, one chapter at a time, opening up God's Word, discussing it, hearing it, meditating on it, reading it. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing as we get into God's Word. And that's really what I want to talk with you about in Matthew chapter 13 especially. In Matthew chapter 13, we get this series of parables. Um, it's really Matthew groups it in this section, he groups together a series of parables. And that's really something that we see Matthew do uh, repeatedly throughout the Gospel of Matthew. He has sections of teaching and then he has sections of doing, right? So they have the Sermon on the Mount and then you have a series of, of uh, you have the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus teaches and then you have a series of miracles and ministries that Jesus is doing. Here in Matthew 13, you have it again, you have a, you have a grouping of teachings and then Jesus gets on with ministry and proves to his disciples who he is, right? So in Matthew 13, we have these parables. You have the sower of the seed, you have the weeds and the wheat. You have a bunch of miracles that are piled one on top of another. Um, and this is what I wanna to talk to you about. The Word of God, what place does it have in your heart and in your life. The Word of God, what place does it have in your hearing? See, one of the phrases that we run into repeatedly throughout Matthew 13 is this thing that Jesus says at the end of a parable. He says it a number of times. He says, he who has ears, let him hear. See, if you remember back, if you remember just previous chapters, what has Jesus been running into? He's been run, running into people who didn't want to hear what he has to say. He's been running into people who didn't want to listen. He's been running into people who saw things that he did, but didn't believe the things that Jesus said. So he, he tells a series of parables, and in part, speaking to them and saying, listen guys, you're not listening. You have ears, but you're not using your ears to listen to what I, the words out of my mouth are saying. He who has ears, let him hear. And there's something for us to there's something for us too in that that what do you and I what do we as God's people need to beware of um, and and maybe it's this that we listen carefully to what God says it's easy for us to hear perhaps but is it easy but then is it easy for us to hear and then take God's truth into our hearts we hear but do we listen he who has ears let him hear and when Jesus says here, he doesn't just mean like let the sounds bounce around in your ear, right? He doesn't just mean that kind of things. He means that we would listen, that we would take it to heart. That when God's law hits our hearts, when it convicts us of our sin, that we would say, okay, <laughs> okay. I've sinned against God and I've, I've sinned against other people and I've, I'm wrong. That we would hear it. And that we would repent of that and that we would come to him for forgiveness. That we would seek his mercy and find his grace. That, that we would turn to him for help. Right? He who has ears, let him hear. It means that we're, we're going to take God's word in when it shows us that we're wrong, both in our actions and in our believing. That when we believe things that are wrong, that we would correct our beliefs. Right? That we would line up our beliefs with what God has to say in his word. He who has ears, let him hear. And what does this also mean? It means that when, when God speaks words of comfort to us about the cross, about salvation, about eternity, about our righteousness before God, what does it mean? It means that we're going to hear those words and we're going to believe them and we're going to be comforted by them. That we're going to listen to the comforting words that Jesus has to speak and we're going to, take a, we're going to have a sigh of relief. He who has ears, let him hear. Right, so what does this mean for you? It means, first of all, that when we hear things, when we study things, when we meditate on things, it means that we're going to take them to heart. Right, we're going to take it, we're going to listen, we're going to meditate on them, we're going to think about them, we're going to apply them, we're going to believe them, we're going to do them. It also means, and I think this is really important, it also means that we're not just going to read the Bible, we're going to listen to God's Word. Right? There is something here about the oral, the, 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 the sound, the oral proclamation and the oral listening to what God has to say. See, what, is, what does Paul say? He says, faith comes by hearing the message. 
So one of the things that Jesus identifies for us here in Matthew 13 and is made clear in other parts of the Bible that, that God's word is not just meant to be read. Oh, I want you to read it. I really do. I want you to meditate on it. I want you to study it. I want you to dig into it. I want, to, I, want you to, I, want you to, I want you to carve into it like you carve into a nice piece of meat. Oh, but I, I don't want you just to read it. I want you to meditate on it. I, I want you not just to meditate on it. I want you to hear it. It's important for us as God's people to hear. Right? This is why we preach. This is why we teach. This is why I do these devotions, because I want you to hear. I want you to think about it. I want you to hear God's word applied. I, I want you to hear it, because faith was, what does Paul say? Faith comes by hearing the message. I know I'm preaching today, but I'm preaching because I need you to hear, because I want you to hear, and because faith comes by hearing. And that's what one of the things Jesus wants to drive home. As he tells these parables, he wants us, he wants you, he wants me to make sure that we're listening. Uh, when God's word is being spoken, uh, when God's word is being taught, when God's word is being read, when God's word is being preached, he wants us to make sure that we're listening to what he has to say. He who has ears, let him hear. So keep listening, dear people of God. Keep listening to what your Savior has to say in his word. Keep listening to what he has to say through his people uh, that you might grow in faith and in godly living. Uh, the Lord be with you, you all today and grant you his peace. Have a great day.